Hello everyone, Lisa here. Today I'm going to show you the two different ways you can use Flashpoint 13 on your Steam Deck. For this first method, we will be using the Linux version of Flashpoint. Keep in mind, while this version is Steam Deck compatible, there are a few issues. When using the default launcher in game mode, you can only interact with part of the screen. You can still launch games like this, but it's a little annoying. Updates will sometimes break compatibility with the Steam Deck's game mode. And while this version is finally able to load Unity web games, they are currently unplayable. The devs have been working pretty hard on Steam Deck support, so here's hoping these issues get addressed in a future update. Anyway, first we'll need to go to flashpoint.org, click on Download Flashpoint, and select Linux. Select the immutable version, and click Download this archive file. When the download completes, open the Downloads folder. Right-click on the file, hover over Extract, and select Extract Archive here. Once it finishes extracting, open start-flashpoint.sh and select Execute. Flashpoint will open and ask if you want to enable analytics. I just clicked Enable All, but you can click Disable All if you wish. Now you'll want to click on Update. Once the update completes, close Flashpoint. Now if you prefer creating individual shortcuts for games instead of using the default launcher, you'll want to download Cliff. The version we'll need for the Steam Deck is Linux Static CLang++-12. Once the download completes, return to the Downloads folder and extract the zip file. Go to the Cliff folder and select Bin. Now copy this file to your Flashpoint folder. Right-click on the file, select Properties, go to Permissions, and check the Is Executable box. Then right-click on it again, and select Add to Steam. Open Steam, and search for Cliff. Find the gear icon, and select Properties. Here you'll want to rename your shortcut, and in the Launch Options type Play-T, and the name of your game in quotes. If you know the game ID instead, you can type Play-I, followed by the game ID in quotes. You can find the game's name or ID using the Flashpoint search tool. Also, if you get this error, just run the script I've included in the description. If you don't have a sudo password, you will be asked to create one. First, you will need to download my Frankenstein version of Flashpoint 13. 
I created this by carefully combining files from the Windows and Linux versions. Once it finishes downloading, right click on the zip file, hover over Extract, and select Extract Here. Alright, so I can open the launcher and use it to update Flashpoint, but it can't launch games. For that, we will need to use Cliff. Right click on the included version of Cliff and select Add to Steam. Find Cliff in Steam, select the gear icon, and go to Properties. Look on Compatibility. Check the box, and select Proton Experimental. Go back to Shortcut, and give it a name. In the Launch Command field, type Play-T followed by the name of your game in double quotes. Or, if you know your game's ID, you can instead use Play-I followed by your game's ID in double quotes. You can look up this information using the Flashpoint search tool. Now, this will work for most games, but Unity web games require a few extra steps. Open the Flashpoint folder, right-click on start-flashpoint.sh, and select Add to Steam. Find start-flashpoint.sh in Steam, click on the gear icon, go to Manage, and select Add Desktop Shortcut. Now go to your desktop, right-click on the newly created shortcut, and select Open with Kate. Now copy the Steam command, and create a new file. Now we're going to create two scripts. The first script is going to open that shortcut you just created in Steam. On the first line, we're going to type number sign exclamation mark, forward slash bin, forward slash bash. Then hit enter and paste the command you copied from the shortcut. Hit enter again and type sleep 8. Now save this file as open-unity.sh. Then create a second file using the close-unity script commands from this video's description. and save it as close-unity.sh. All right, go to the folder where you saved your scripts, and one at a time, right-click on a script, go to Properties, select Permissions, and check the Is Executable box. Keep in mind that if this box is not checked, the scripts won't work. Now return to the Flashpoint folder, right-click on Cliff, and select Add to Steam. Find Cliff in Steam, select the gear icon, and go to Properties. Click on Compatibility, check the box, and select Proton Experimental. Go back to Shortcut, give your shortcut a name, then in the Target field type Play in single quotes, space, dash T in single quotes, space, the name of your game in single quotes. Now find your open dash unity script, right click on it, and select copy location. All right, go back to Steam and in the launch options, paste the location of your script in double quotes, followed by a semicolon, space, percent sign, command, percent sign, and the semicolon, space. Now find your closed unity script and copy its location. Then go back to Steam and paste its location in double quotes, 
followed by a semicolon. All right, so how this works is the shortcut you created earlier will open Flashpoint. Then after eight seconds, your game will launch. And if you close the game, Flashpoint will close as well. Side note, if playing games off center bothers you, I have an upcoming tutorial which will address this issue. Also, if you have a lot of Flash games you wish to add to your Steam Deck, you won't want to miss my upcoming automation tutorial. There I'll showcase this input recorder script I created for the Steam Deck. So don't forget to subscribe.